The top two teams in the SJHL Sherwood Conference battled it out at the Civic Auditorium last night, and the Yorkton Terriers had just enough to narrowly edge the Eagle Drilling Estevan Bruins 2-1. The two hockey clubs traded numerous scoring chances early on, but neither could beat the opposing team's goalie until Estevan's Dominic Perot was called for roughing after giving Devin McMillan an extra shot to the head after knocking him to the ice. The Terriers took advantage on the ensuing power play as Zach Majkowski fired a wrist shot past Joel Danilek at the 15:40 mark of the first period to make it 1-0. Yorkton then doubled their lead just over two minutes later when Keon Vick was able to somehow beat Danilek from a terrible angle at the side of the net, making the score 2-0 for the visitors. Moving on to the second period now where the Bruins think they score, but referee Sean Dufour calls it off immediately, claiming the whistle had gone before the puck crossed the line and the Terriers carried their two-goal lead into the third period. Just a couple minutes into the final frame, Estevan forward Ryan Anderson burst into the Yorkton zone trying to get something started when he gets absolutely leveled by McMullen, and the hit looked legal, but Anderson took exception and immediately dropped his gloves and went after the Terriers defenseman. The scrap seemed to spark the Bruins as they finally got on the board shortly after when Justin Waskowitz threw a shot on goal that just barely squeaked through Yorkton netminder Devin Peters. That was as close as the Bruins would come though as they had a few more chances and pulled Danilek for the extra attacker but just couldn't find the back of the net and Yorkton hung on for the 2-1 victory. With the win, the Terriers increased their Sherwood Conference lead over the Bruins to seven points. However, Estevan has four games in hand. The Bruins will now head to Weyburn this Saturday to face the Red Wings. Game time is at 7.30. For the EstevanMercury.ca, I'm Daniel Hendrickson.